Hello, how's it going? Take off. All right. The home video... point has been updated. Please check it on the map. The video I made just before this one, I tested out with the Mavic 3. I tested out the um, these power lines to see how well it could detect them. So now we're going to try with um, the Air 2S and see how well it detects detects the power lines. The, the Mavic 3 did a horrible job, it, it, if at all. I mean, it just barely detected anything. In fact, I almost hit it several times trying to test it. All right, this is going upward. There's two power lines directly above me, apparently 3.7 feet. I cannot go up. The Mavic 3, I was able to go right up on them, literally within inches. It did not detect anything. So, and, and it detects it all the way around over here, anywhere, anywhere I go around here. It's detect, detecting upward. There's two. two there's one line that's a cable and one's power. One's really thin and one's um, really a little bit thicker, two or three times the size of the cable. And um, it's detecting them both well, very well. Like, like I said, I can't go upward. And with the Mavic 3, I, it, it wouldn't. It completely did not detect these. All right. So now we'll try the um, going forward. See how well it detects them. Already detecting, you can see it. I can't go forward right now. It's stopping me instantly. With the Mavic 3, I could get right up on it. it. It seemed like it detected them some and, and, and not, not others. Alright, let's try downward. Okay, downward it does not appear to um, detect anything. Yeah, I'm right on it, literally. Uh, I'm, I'd say I'm three or four inches away. Okay, so downward it does not detect anything when it comes to power lines. Behind, behind me, I can't go backward, it detects it instantly. The Mavic 3 didn't do that either. The Mavic 3. It, it's hard to believe that the Mavic 3 could be so far behind when it comes to the Air 2S on so many levels. It seems like the only reason the, Air, the Mavic 3 is worth, worth buying at all would be the, um, the 46 minute flight time, which is more like 30, 30 minutes or so, or the, um, the zoom. Other than that, when it comes to the features, it seems like this, this the Air 2S just beats it all around. Signal strength, detection, obst obstacle detection. Now, now, if I just, with the other video, I tried the active track on my dog. It would not it would not stay on him for a second, not even for a second. Let's try it now with the, with the DJI Air 2S. On spotlight, let's see if I can get my dog to, Gizma, come on, come here. All right, didn't work that time. Let's try it again. Gizmo, come here. Well, that's doing more than the Air Two, than the um, Mavic Three did right there. Come on. Yeah, it's far better than the Mavic 3. The Mavic 3, I couldn't get it to even stay on the dog for a second. Gizmo, come here. Gizmo, come on. All right, let's try um, Active Track, see what happens. The actual trace. Try it one more time. Here's our come on.
Well, that didn't work too well. Still doing far better. Whoa, whoa, whoa buddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, stop. <laughs> stop, bro. It did not seem to um, detect anything when it came to um, when it was an active track at all. It seemed like it, it was about to hit the, um, the pole over there, the, the air pole. That thing right there. Very close. I don't think I don't think it detected it. Anyway, the active track seems to be much better, even on the, the lighting's probably, it's real cloudy today, so the lighting's probably affecting it to some degree, but it's it's still, it's darker than it was out with the, um, when I had the Mavic 3 earlier, because the clouds are blocking the sun, but um, it's still, it's still doing far better than the Mavic 3.